Bond area among them Nairobi has kicked off in earnest though with hiked fares. A spot check by KBC Channel 1 in Mombasa revealed that upcountry bookings in both PSVs and SGR were beyond capacity. President Uhuru Kenyatta on Saturday lifted the partial lockdown in the counties of Nairobi, Kiambu, Kajado, Machakos and Nakuru that led to the suspension of transport services in and out of the five disease zoned areas. At the Mombasaraha bus services offices, the company's fleet had for almost a month gathered dust since the lockdown in five counties of Nairobi, Machakos, Kajiado, Kiambu and Nakuru. The buses, clean and clear, are ready to resume upcountry services following Saturday's travel ban reprieve. The same script at both the Marsh and Dreamline bus company's offices. The operators, while loading the presidential directive, cautioned passengers of fair increased shock owing to increase on fuel. Normal price is 1,500, but the diesel is not a diesel. It is a diesel. It is a diesel. It is a diesel. It is a diesel. The bus operators also took issue with unregistered private vehicles conducting long distance PSV businesses, saying they are denying them businesses. <laughs> Commuters, on the other hand, decried high bus fares and urged the government to come up with measures to streamline and curb the exploitation of the passengers. <laughs> Kilometers away at the SGR Mombasa terminal, operations are on high top gear as commuters booked for the next week travels. A senior operations officer who sought anonymity said they had open online booking portal and normal travel will resume tomorrow morning. On the other hand, bars have resumed operations, though at a snail pace, with owners calling on the government to reconsider the adjustment of opening and closing of their businesses, saying the time given is unrealistic. We want to plead and make a, a plea to our government that we look into the small-scale businesses. Because you will find that in this sector, we have people who depend, a lot of people depend on these businesses, so many families. But where do they get them? Where do, how do we, how do we uh, 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 help them? There is no any other help apart from the sales we make to help these families. Once a time limit, limit has been reduced from 10 to 7, the, the, the quantity and the quality of services we are offering has also been reduced. That means the profit margin will obviously go down. The presidential directive to lift ban on cessation of movement in the five zone areas has elicited mixed reactions. For transport stakeholders, it is merely making time, but for the Bar Owners Association, they have asked the government to reconsider adjustment of the operation time. Reporting for Channel 1 News from Mombasa County, I'm Michael Mundiga.